Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's vlog is going to be behind the scenes of a uh, wedding I did a couple of weeks ago at Kettering Park Hotel. Right, come on my love. Let's have a look. Well, you go downstairs. Like many UK photographers know this, that most of the bridal preparation can happen at a friend's house or the bridal house. Um, the problem with that is that you've got very little space to work with. Like most people know that UK houses are small and you need a lot of space, especially behind the, uh, behind the subject you'll photograph, you like the clean walls and stuff like that. You're not going to get that in a house. If that's the case, my best advice is find a stairway, especially where it really goes up into a nice light at the top. Now, I was lucky with this house that the top of this stairway had a lovely light where I can hang the dress and get some nice photographs. This was the only uh, possible angle and room that I had to work with and I think it worked out well. <laughs> Like this bit here, yeah. yeah and we'll do some close-ups on that. With the dress all set up nicely under the light on the stairway, this is a good opportunity just to go in and get the detail of the dress. Now, the little girl that was helping me was an absolute darling. She knew what she wanted me to get, and I was so down for her input because if she can help, I can help. And we build up a rapport and this will be really crucial for later on because they they already know you and when you come to do like the family photo shoots this input from the from the bridesmaids uh, the children you're working with on that day it's really going to benefit you later so with the dress hanging up this is a good opportunity just to get the little fine details of the lace work of the dress and you can really take your time with this because you don't want to mess this up if the camera gets too intimidating, just tell me to piss off. Piss off. No, you're not, not ready yet. She's no, no, don't, don't, don't do no. that. She's off now. It's safe to have some time on your own. Yeah, I, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Because it's a long day. Yes. It will go quick. And then we'll be socialising. And once his mates turn up, I'll probably get that one. No, you probably won't, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. So I do suggest I'm have a moment. When it comes to the bridal preparation, I always try and keep my eyes really open because this is where a moment where it happened very, very quickly. So take this picture of the bridesmaid getting ready. She was just standing there with the mirror up. I, I was in the right location when I, I got it, so I was so lucky. And to me, it is an absolutely cracking shot. Now, I was lucky in this room because it was a nice sunny day. There was lots of windows. So I can really exploit the light coming through the kitchen. Well I cried last night though, when I opened my little That's life, isn't it though? I've got, I was doing Hannah's hair yeah. till half eight, and then I did my nails. Now this is an absolute perfect example of keeping your eyes open. As I was talking to the bride, the girls behind me just started dancing. Uh, I don't know what it set it off, maybe it was the music, I think it, they were in a really excited mood. But always keep your eyes open because you can get really good shots like this. That was a lovely moment, sorry. Yeah, so you were having a bit of a late night then? Yes, yeah. So good, so good. Right, that's a cracking idea. Let's do that. Come on. This window's still here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we'll use this. Use this corner here because it's nice and big, yeah? So the rings are upstairs. Right. Are you going to get them or do you want me to get them? Uh, uh, upstairs. So you want to be a makeup artist? Yeah. Is that what you mostly watch on YouTube? Is the makeup artist videos? Yeah. During the bridal preparation, the girls came up to me and asked, can we shoot the wings again? And I was so down for that. Now, I already photographed them upstairs with the dress, with the shoes, but they really wanted me to do it again. And I wanted their input to be in these photographs as well, because I believe it's for everyone. So 
The girls went upstairs to get the rings again, and one of the girls suggested that we should photograph it right here next to the windowsill. Now, I believe this was an absolute great call because the amount of light and the, the white windowsill itself just made an absolutely heavenly photograph of the rings in this beautifully crafted wooden box. And the other reason it was a good call is because when the bridesmaids were upstairs looking for the wedding ring, I was talking to the other bridesmaid and we were just building up a bit more of a rapport with each other. She told me that she loves uh, makeup uh, tutorials on YouTube. Uh, she follows um, uh, lots of different people. Uh, I also tried to persuade her to follow my YouTube channel, but she wasn't interested. Never mind. Maybe photography is just not her thing. But achieving a great end result for this shot was fantastic. are true candid moments that just happen in a split of a second now the only way you're going to get these shots is time patience and everyone around you feels comfortable now if you do not have that you're all going to find it very very difficult I know some of you are watching this behind the scenes of my work uh, have equipment that is Nikon or Sony. Now, I'm a Canon fan. Um, the reason I use a Canon is uh, I've always used it. I was trained when I was a young uh, photographic student. And this equipment seems to work for me. Uh, the equipment I like to use on the day is my number one camera is a Canon uh, 5D Mark III. And I use a Canon L lens, uh, 24 to 105 millimeter. This is my main camera that I always got by my side. My secondary camera is a 60D with a 50 millimeter lens. I find this works really well for me because you've, you've got the aspects of the 50 millimeter and you've got a zoom lens if you need it as well. <laughs> See, that was a cheeky smile, that was perfect. Hang on a minute, let's get that smile again. Cheeky smile, cheeky smile, cheeky smile. Oh, yeah, there is, there is, there is. Smashed it, got it. Now, wedding photography is not for everyone. If you're looking for this, for ideas to go forward with, I hope I'm helping with this video. But just remember, you're the person behind the camera. Your personality also needs to be shown in these photos. Now, if you're not enthusiastic or fun, that the people you're photographing are going to feel that and they're not going to react in a way that you want them to react. So my best advice is be yourself. Now, if your self is boring, you're going to find this job very difficult. If your personality is bubbly, exciting, easy to talk to, you're going to find getting these shots a lot, lot easier. Now the thing I love to do is just to move around. Now your clients are paying me to get the best photos I can possibly get. If I'm stuck in one position, they're all going to look the same. So what I always try to do is just try and move around, try and get a new aspect of the whole group and just go forth from there. And this is why I say always move around. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have got this shot. Ladies, just look at me. Right, just turn around. That's it. Spot on. Oh, yeah, smashed it. That's it. Tongues, tongues. This is something I always do with young people. If I can't get them to smile or even look in my direction, I just tell them to stick their tongues out and blow me a raspberry. It always works. It's a cute photo. It, the, the mum and dads are going to love it. It's the kids, how they're being kids. So if you are struggling with children, just tell them to mess about.
we're almost coming to the end of the bridal prep where we'll be making our way to the hotel. I'm hoping this is giving you a good insight of how I work and if there's anybody out there who is thinking about starting a wedding photography business, this gives you a good idea of what might happen or give you some advice. But I just want to go back to this shot. This shot was so spontaneous. It was just the two little girls giggling around. Uh, I'm just going to go back to all the advice I'm giving you in this part one of this vlog is always please keep your eyes open this is what i do this is i find works for me and this is how i can achieve shots like this yeah so much to do and well we have we've got plenty of time you got loads of time loads of time we're all good it just feels a bit do you know what i mean when the bride and the bridesmaids are all ready this is a moment where I just like to get them all together, uh, especially if the bridesmaids are children of the bride. It's just nice to have a unique mother to daughter moment and hopefully capture it in a nice way where when they look back at these photos, they're going to remember it for the rest of their lives. And that's what you're trying to achieve, memories. So my last couple of shots are just devoted to the bride and the young children the bridesmaids and just capture these unique memorable moments i hope in this vlog you've got some good insights and please stick around for part two of the vlog where i actually be telling you how i photograph a wedding but thank you for taking the time to watch how i work and if you liked what you've watched uh, please don't forget to subscribe